Hi DIYers, this is Michael from AlarmGrid, and today I'm going to help you solve S2 security protocol issues on the Qualsys IQ Panel 2 Plus. Uh, S2 is the more advanced security protocol used with uh, home automation devices, uh, that is Z-Wave devices. Um, it's usually found on Z-Wave Plus devices only. You're unlikely to find it on a classic Z-Wave device. Um, it's more secure than the S0 protocol. Um, so it's just basically a more secure protocol for your uh, home automation devices. Um, so um, in order to get uh, the S2 protocol, uh, you will have to uh, have three things in place. Uh, first of all, on the IQ2+, Plus, uh, you will want a Z-Wave firmware version of at least 6.81. 0.03. Uh, that's 6.81.03. Uh, that's the, the earliest Z-Wave version that will support uh, the S2 protocol. Um, you will generally also want to have your IQ2 on a firmware version, system firmware version 2.5.3. Um, now, while it was technically introduced on 2.4.2, .2, uh, 2.5.3 was where they fixed a lot of the, um, the issues with the S2 protocol. Um, and it, it never really hurts to have your IQ2 on the latest firmware version. And um, so, so uh, you want to make sure you have your IQ2 on at least 2.5.3 to ensure that everything goes smoothly. And last, uh, you want to make sure that the Z-Wave device you are using supports the S2 protocol. Um, we're going to show you one today. We're going to use the Honeywell T6 Pro uh, Z-Wave thermostat. Uh, we're going to show you the end of that enrollment process. We're not going to show you the whole thing just because we want to give you a demonstration of how to solve these issues, but we will show you the end of the pairing process to show you what it looks like when you are adding an S2 um, device to your IQ Panel 2 Plus. Uh, so um, first, let's uh, go into uh, the About menu on the IQ2, and I'm going to show you how you can check the Z-Wave firmware version and the system firmware version. So we're at the main screen of the IQ Panel 2 Plus. We're going to click the small gray bar at the top. We're going to choose Settings. We're going to choose Advanced Settings. And then we can enter in our default installer code. Uh, if you change your installer code, enter whatever code you went, you changed it to. But we have ours at the default of 1, 1, 1, 1. We're going to choose About. And then uh, we're going to check the Z-Wave protocol first. So we're going um, to choose Z-Wave, uh, the Z-Wave firmware version, I mean. And uh, you see that it says 6.81.03. And that's the version that we need to support it. Um, that's uh, the highest version we know of right now, but if they release a higher one, then the assumption is that it will bring in the S2 protocol support. So uh, we have ours on at least 6.81.03, so we're good. And then we'll look at the software. And um, no, uh, yeah, right there, software version. Uh, we, we have uh, 2.5.3. I clicked on it again. 2.5.3. Um, and then the rest of it's not super important, but um, we have 2.5.3 on there, so uh, we're good. Uh, that's the firmware version we want. Like I said, uh, that was when Qualsys fixed a lot of the S2 uh, issues. Um, earlier versions had issues, and users had a bad time. So they fixed it, and uh, we have ours on the version. If you don't have yours on the right version, then upgrade the software version and or the Z-Wave firmware version. It doesn't really matter which order you do that in, um, but we have FAQs that will help you to do that. So. Do that if necessary. So um, now I'm just going to go to the back menu here. I'm going to choose installation. I'm going to choose devices. I'm going to choose Z-Wave devices. And we're at the Z-Wave menu here. So now I'm going to go to our uh, T6 thermostat. Um, I'm going to get that um, set up for enrollment. Um, we are going to do an, a traditional exclusion inclusion process. I'm not going to show you the exclusion process. Uh, you've seen that before in other um, enrollment videos. Um, but I will show you the end of it um, so we can show you what the S2 protocol looks like when you're enrolling an S2 device. Um, but we're going to go and do that now. OK, so we've done the exclusion process on the IQ Panel um, 2 Plus and the T6 thermostat. So now we're going to uh, include the device. Um, our assistant is uh, pressing Include on the Z-Wave thermostat now. And we're going to Add Device. And we're going to press the Include button. And it's now searching for a Z-Wave device. Remember, we did this both on the, the panel and the T6 thermostat. And it's discovered a device. And now you'll see that we get this uh, message. The S2 node is requesting the following S2 security, S2 unauthenticated. Um, that's exactly what we want to see. So by keeping this box checked as we go through the rest of the inclusion process, we are using the S2 protocol. Now, if you're having issues enrolling it uh, for whatever reason, then you might uncheck the box. But we're just going to press OK. And it's just uh, retrieving some info here, um, going through the typical process. 
Okay, um, so we got um, uh, it went went through just fine. So now we can choose an I, um, uh, an ID number um, and a thermostat type. Well, we want to keep it as a thermostat, and we're going to keep it as just thermostat. The name we're going to choose add. And you see it has been added successfully. And we did that using the S2 protocol. That message that came up, we kept the box checked. If we uncheck the box, then it would enroll using the older um, S0 protocol, which is less secure. Um, now, if you are having issues for whatever reason, then uh, we do recommend unchecking the box and just using it as an S0 device. Um, but in most cases, it, it should go through like this. Um, remember that you will need to have a Z-Wave device that supports this feature. Like I said, the, the T6 uh, Pro uh, Z-Wave thermostat, Z-Wave Plus thermostat that we were using supports the feature. So uh, we use that. Um, you will want to generally go through the process a bit quickly um, because if, if you uh, hang around at the screen too much um, as it's trying to pair, then it can often fail to uh, get the S S2 uh, set up. So that might be an issue. So uh, just try to make sure you go through the process uh, fairly quickly. And remember, uh, you will do an exclusion process first. We didn't show that on camera um, just because uh, that you've seen programming Z-Wave devices before on the IQ2+. Plus. Um, it's generally recommended you exclude and then include. Uh, we just showed you the end of it. But uh, that's how you go and you um, enroll a Z-Wave device using the S2 protocol. And if you're, if you're having issues, remember, uh, you want your Z-Wave firmware on the IQ2 to be at least 6.81.03. And generally speaking, it's, it's a good idea to have your um, system firmware on at least 2.5.3. So if you're having issues on, with the S2 protocol, um, then that, those are things you can look at. Um, so uh, if you have any questions about the IQ Panel 2 Plus or about home automation or alarm monitoring services, send an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up below if you liked the video. And remember to subscribe to our channel for updates on future videos. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.